Hey guys, I hope you're having a good morning. I've got my cold coffee right here beside me. Um, and what I'm thinking about this morning is all of the new things that are coming out to help support your business. And that's true whether you've got a side hustle or you've got a huge organization. And what's really, really challenging is trying to wade through and find the things that are gonna work for you. Um, social media for me is one of those like big mysteries. There's you know new social media platforms coming out all the time. There's all kinds of um, just different functions and you know things that you can do that are getting rolled out all the time too. And I may have made a mistake back a ways, but I just got to the point where I could not figure out how to spend my time on social media where I was everywhere. So I really sat down, figured out, okay, where's my audience? And for me, primarily, it's on LinkedIn. Although I do am starting to understand the power of Facebook and just that opportunity to connect with people there. So I've built a group on Facebook, which I'm really, really enjoying. And I cut out most of the other stuff. So I stopped doing Instagram, I stopped doing Pinterest and a couple other uh, social media platforms. And now I'm kind of rethinking it, right? Rethinking my social media strategy. Um, I am doing some Pinterest. The cool thing about Pinterest is it's a, it's a search engine of its own. And I, when I actually got out there and thought, well, you know, let me just see what's going on with Pinterest. I've got tons and tons of views from old posts, not a lot of interaction, but it tells me that I probably need to focus there because there's some interest in the work that I do on Pinterest. And then um, the other thing is we're getting ready to launch this fall a women's uh, journal that is a gold journal that's gonna help you get your goals accomplished. I use it all the time, I handwrite it, so we're creating a digital version of it that we're gonna be launching. And Pinterest is a great place to launch products. So there's all kinds of demographics, things that you can look up, but Pinterest is heavy with women, heavy with professional women, and uh, heavy with women looking to purchase. So if that's kind of your niche, you wanna take a look at Pinterest. And then just stay up on all the new stuff that the uh, social media platforms are offering. So I mentioned Facebook. So Facebook is just opened Facebook shop, which is a storefront inside of Facebook. Has to be on a business page. Um, I'm just playing around with opening up my own Facebook shop. I don't have a lot of products. You know, that it's here's what's interesting. Mostly for me, it's services. So I don't know. I don't know if you can sell services on there or not. I'll figure it out. I do have an online course. It's on Teachable. I'm thinking maybe I can promote it there or, or create a landing page there that'll link to Teachable, not sure about that. Definitely when my journal launches, I'll have that out on Facebook shops. And then um, there's Facebook now owns Instagram, so the there's Instagram shops. I quit Instagram. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of success there. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll get back into it, but here's the problem, is you get in this social media time suck, right, where you're, and unless you're really making money and cultivating an audience there, it, it, it can end up being a real time waster. So I wanna be really strategic about it. So for me, I'm focusing on LinkedIn. Uh, I am focusing on Facebook with the shops on my professional page and then the Sparkle and Rise Facebook group. Um, the other cool thing that Facebook rolled out is inside of groups, you can now do Facebook rooms. And Facebook rooms, you can have up to eight people in what what is basically a Zoom type platform. So I'm using Facebook Rooms to do uh, masterminds, love seats. We don't call them hot seats, we call them love seats. With the women in the Facebook group, and then that, that way, uh, every every week or two, a woman has an opportunity to be in the love seat, where they share a challenge they're having and get input from the group on you know what can help them break through. So, Facebook groups is really cool for that. It's free. You get up to eight people, and I have tested it a couple of times. It's a really cool experience. So, um, that's a new social media stuff that I'm playing with. Some of it new, some of it just dipping back in. So, getting back into Pinterest, uh, checking out Facebook shops and then using Facebook rooms. And the, the funny thing about, you know, anytime you start something new is it feels totally overwhelming at first. I'm like, oh my gosh, shops is like, I'm like, oh, gotta figure this out. But once you figure it out, 
it's not so hard. And then uh, it's just something you just know and you can share with someone else. So that is the things that I'm working on with social media. We'd love to hear from you guys. What are you finding is working in your businesses um, as it relates to social media? And if you haven't started a business yet, where do you look for the next products or services that you are interested in purchasing um, on social media? We'd love to hear from you guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.